Now, Venom is a film that I have been against since it got announced, really. A uh, Venom movie without Spider-Man seems like the most pointless thing I could imagine. The first trailer didn't give us any sort of shot of Venom at all, just a few kind of black tendrils. But Sony released a new trailer, and I kind of want to break down my thoughts on this, because in a way, I am slightly hyped again for the movie, but at the same time, I have no faith in it whatsoever. So let's just talk about a few of the things that I've seen here. Now, one thing we can notice right off the bat is that Venom seems to be kind of a good guy. Well, not Venom, Eddie, in the sense that he's trying to find out what's happening to innocent people that this guy is taking and experimenting on, which is kind of different from a photographer at the Daily Bugle who's shamed for faking a photo of Spider-Man, really. But then, no, Spider-Man, or apparently, I mean, Tom Holland has apparently been seen on set, but I'll wait to see what happens with that, really. Now, there's a female character who looks like she's been experimented on by the Life Foundation. Um, I think that's probably Scream or Shriek, one of the two, um, seeing as they are adapting the uh, Planet of the Symbiotes and Lethal Protector storylines. Um, I like the idea that Eddie is getting sick from the symbiote. Um, it's something that's not really been explored. Um, the whole idea of what the symbiote actually does to you in terms of when you're not, you know, physically venom at that point. Um, and another really cool aspect of that that they delve into in this trailer is the idea that venom is a voice in his head that he's battling with. And uh, it, it sounds really cool. It sounds like I'd expect from venom, almost like multiple voices speaking at once. But yeah, it is exactly what you'd expect. Um, and he sounds pretty menacing in that regard. So, you know, that, that's great for Venom. That's exactly what I want for Venom. Um, it's just a shame because the one thing I really want for Venom is Spider-Man and that's really not happening. But we go on to see this like kind of split personality thing and he's like, no, we're only gonna help. We're only gonna like save good, peop uh, good people and we're only gonna attack bad guys. And then Venom's like, you know, we can do whatever we want and that kind of thing. I, I, I would like to see the element of uh, battling for control not just in the sense of, oh, I love it, it makes me happy, stupid Topher Grace stuff. I mean, overall, Venom is a movie that I have very little confidence in. But seeing him at the end, when, you know, he, the whole We Are Venom bit, I mean, that, that guy is not coming out of that. That, that guy is dead. Um, but Jesus Christ, like, Venom looks on point. Um, OG Titan actually said yesterday to me that he felt he looked a bit shiny. Um, I... I kind of get that, but then I suppose that's because of the movement of the suit, you know, how it's constantly alive and moving around and that kind of thing. It's the light reflecting off it. Um, but I think he looks pretty spot on. The tongue was really cool. Um, yeah, I, he looks menacing as hell. Venom looks good and I, I'm glad of that. And the rumors are that Venom is only in it for five minutes. So what if that is the, you know, the end scene of the movie? Because let's be honest, Sony have a knack for doing that. Um, but I, I, I thought he looked really cool. Um, I, it generates a bit more hype for me. I am going to see it um, as soon as it comes out, really, because Venom is one of my favourite characters. As I'm recording this, I'm in a Venom t-shirt. Um, but it's just, I, I don't have a lot of faith in the movie. This is Sony. It's in association with Marvel, which means God knows what. We don't know if it is in it or not. Um, but yeah. I'm gonna see this probably release day, um, maybe midnight if they do do that, you know, but just because midnight showing is really fun, just like last night's Infinity War one. Um, but without any more, that's my thoughts on the Venom trailer. Um, and yeah, thanks for checking this out, and I'll catch you guys soon because that's what it takes to be infinite. See you soon. We call them symbiotes. Carlton Drake believes that the union between human and symbiote is the key to our evolution. And goddammit, will someone tell them how to say symbiote properly?